Hey everyone, it's Tokyo, and today we're going over how you install mods for Palworld. It's actually pretty straightforward, and by the end of this video, you'll have your game set up and ready to go. Let's jump right in. First, head over to nexusmods.com and create a free account, if you don't have one already. Once you're logged in, you're gonna need to download Vortex. That's the Nexus Mod Manager. It makes installing mods incredibly easy. Go ahead and open it once it's installed. The first time you launch it, it'll ask you to select which games you want to mod. Find Pal World in the list and click to add it. Now, before we do anything else, we need to install UE4SS. That's the Unreal Engine 4 scripting system. This is absolutely essential because it's what allows mods to actually work in Pal World. Think of this as the foundation that lets mods communicate with the game. Without it, most mods simply won't function. Head to Nexus Mods or GitHub and download the latest version. Extract the files and you'll see a bunch of folders and DLL files. Now navigate to your Palworld game directory. That's in your Steam folder under Steam Apps, Common Palworld. Then go into the Pal World folder, then Binaries, then Win64. This is where it needs to go. Copy all the files into that Win64 folder. Don't worry, you're not overwriting any game files, you're just adding new ones. Once that's done, launch Pal World to make sure everything works. You might see a console window pop up. That's the program running. If the game launches fine, you're all set. Now for the fun part, finding mods. You can browse for them in Vortex or go to the Palworld section on the Nexus Mods website. I prefer this method because you can see better screenshots and read detailed descriptions. Let's say I want a mod that's for building. I'll search for it, check out the details, and when I find one I like, I'll click the Mod Manager download button. This automatically sends it to Vortex. After that, you'll see your downloaded mod in the staging area. Just click Install or Enable it. Some mods might have installation options. Just read them and pick what you want. Vortex handles all the file placement for you. After installing your mods, click Deploy Mods at the top of Vortex. This applies all your changes. One important thing, make sure you launch Palworld through Steam normally. Your mods will automatically load. If you ever want to disable a mod, just go back to Vortex and toggle it off. The alternative method, and how I download mine, is the manual way. I'll show you how. It's a bit more hands-on, but I prefer this method because I can manage everything through my own directory. And when you start using a lot of mods, things can get a little complicated. But if you're only going to use a few or just getting started, Vortex is perfectly fine for most mods. First, download the mod file from Nexus Mods, but this time click Manual Download instead. This will give you a zip file, extract it, then navigate to your Palworld game folder. That's the same location we mentioned earlier. Look for a folder called Mods inside the Palworld directory. If it doesn't exist, you'll need to create it yourself. Just make a new folder and name it Mods with a capital M. Take the files from your extracted mod usually it's pack files or a folder structure, and drag them into the mods folder. Each mod should have installation instructions in its readme file, so check that first if you're unsure. Then launch the game and your manually installed mods should load. The downside is you have to manage updates and compatibility yourself, but overall, I think it's a cleaner way to keep track of everything. Here's something really important. Some mods require manual installation because they're what's called logic mods. These mods change game mechanics or add features that go beyond simple content additions. A perfect example is photo mode, which is honestly one of the most popular mods out there. These kinds can't be installed through Vortex because they need specific files placed in exact locations you must follow the manual installation instructions on the mod page carefully, and usually the mod author will provide step-by-step -step directions. You'll typically need to place files in both the mods folder and sometimes the game's binaries folder. Once installed, 
a lot of Logic mods have in-game keybinds. Check the mod page for controls. For photo mode, it's usually F9 that opens the camera interface. Also, if a mod isn't working, check the description page for any special requirements or compatibility notes. Some mods need specific versions of the game or other mods to work properly. And that's it! You're now modding like a pro. If you have any questions or need help with the modding process, leave a comment below. If this video helped you out, drop a like and remember to subscribe for more PAL World related content. Until next time, happy building, and I'll see you guys in the next creation.